Hi, I'm Tim with Tint Terminator, and today we're talking about how to actually take a picture of a dent. Uh, we love it when you text photos to us. Uh, you, know, you might start thinking about sending, rather than just send one photo, you might think about sending three or maybe four, and you'll see why I say that here in a second. But the first kind of rule of thumb is if, let's say that the dent is somewhere between this N and this T, if it's right in here, you want to have your camera pretty well level with it. Um, and, you know, the first shot that people take a lot of times is this what we call the head-on shot which is like this and that's fine um, one thing you know send one of those that would be the first shot but then go ahead and just move back 30 degrees or so and uh, take a second shot and do the same thing from the front and take that third shot and then we ask for one more and that's kind of helps us tell what panel it is and where the car you know what kind of car it is and if you'll just back up enough to where we can get you know, a picture of the, the panel in front of and panel in behind, and then we kind of know what kind of car you got and what panel is damaged. That tells us a lot, and that keeps us from having to ask, hey, what kind of car is this? So that's basically how you shoot it. Now, uh, we also want to talk about how you can really get a, a good picture of a dent, and that's a couple things. Rules of thumb, uh, it's probably better to have the car in the shade on a sunny day, you know, so if you can park the car in a way that that side that has the dent on it, is actually in the shade, not in direct sunlight. That helps a lot. The second thing is if you can catch a reflection of something far away, maybe maybe your house or maybe some shrubbery, something outside, even a mailbox, just any kind of reflection of that. And if you kind of, there's, there's going to be a point where you move the camera and you'll see, oh, wow, I see that reflection in the panel. And if you'll put that reflection right on the dent, that helps us see kind of how big that dent is. So that's kind of 101 on taking pictures of dents to Texas. And again, if you'd like to text a photo to us, just send it to TulsaDent.com. Thanks for watching.